What's going on everybody? Eric here with driverlineup.com, world's a case steering wheel holder. Once again, checking in with you guys uh, in the middle of the night, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. I'm just waiting for, I've already pre-tripped my tractor. I'm just waiting for uh, my 14 to come, to come back in like five minutes. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I don't like running a solo clock. <laughs> it really messed me up yesterday because I had to wait so long at the receiver for paperwork, which by the way, Cheney Brothers uh, responded to me when I was bitching about how long it took for paperwork. So that was interesting. <laughs> that was really interesting. Uh, but anyway, so I had this whole perfect, and I am going to talk about Wilson Logistics and uh, Will Trans here in a second. Bear with me. Uh, so I had this whole day planned out yesterday to where I could have stopped right outside of Bradenton, Florida, taken my 10 and then rolled into uh, Tropicana at approximately 2300 last night. Uh, but because they took so long to give me my paperwork yesterday, they messed the whole thing up. They took an additional three hours to give me my paperwork. Um, so I got, I, so I had to come on in to, to Tropicana to at least check in and show that I was here. Uh, and because it was drop and hook, I knew I could come back after midnight if the load wasn't ready and it wasn't ready. But they told me that it would be ready at 2300. So if my plan had worked out, if I hadn't got held up yesterday, my plan would have been perfect. <sighs> but anyway, it's all good. I got my 10 hour break in. I slept really good. Um, so I'm gonna try to go hook up to this trailer real quick, get my paperwork and then jam through Tampa before, well, I'm bypassing Tampa, but at least jam through, hopefully before any traffic hits. Then I can pick up Dave, Captain Dave, uh, up there where he lives. I don't want to say where he lives, but it's Northern Florida. And then we're headed to Springfield. We got some things to take care of Springfield. Uh, truck's got to go into the shop for just a very, very brief fix. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Um, he's got to get his wallet and glasses that were shipped there. I have some packages that were shipped there. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, so I am seeing some questions about the Wilson Logistics uh, sale to Ashley Furniture. Now, I'm not giving any trade secrets. So the, the couple of you who don't like it whenever I say things on YouTube before Prime announces them... Uh, well, you're just going to have to pound Sam because this is not trade secrets. It's obvious. It's out there. It's on freight waves. It's in news. I'm not breaking any news here, okay? I'm talking about what's already in the news. Yes, Wilson Logistics has been purchased by Ashley Furniture. So... That's all we know, really. That's all we know. Because um, I'm getting text messages asking, hey, is this is this gonna hurt Prime? Is this gonna, what does this mean? I actually know several Wiltrans, uh, Wilson Logistics drivers. I know a couple former um, Wiltrans, Wilson Logistics drivers. And uh, my answer is, I don't know. Uh, <sighs> I have a hard time believing that Ashley Furniture bought Wilson Logistics for it to keep moving refrigerated freight. Maybe, maybe they just want to expand their portfolio. I don't know. Um, that's possible. But considering that they, I think I read, I read in one of the articles that uh, a statement from Ashley Furniture saying that they were looking to broaden their delivery capabilities or something like that. So if you read between the lines there, it sounds to me like they needed more capacity for their product. Uh, 
So, and I believe a lot of the Wilson Logistic trailers are dry vans, I think. Um, so the sale obviously doesn't include all the prime trailers that they pull, but that was one of the comments of, well, doesn't, don't they just, they, don't they all have reefer trailers? Why would Ashley Furniture? No, they don't. The, the most, the reefer trailers that they pull are our reefer trailers. So I think I read that they have like 800 tractors and 2000 trailers or something like that. And I don't think that most of those are reefer trailers. I think they're dry vans. So I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know. A anything that I would say is speculation because I honestly have no freaking clue uh, what their plan is. I don't know what it means. If if someone from Wilson Logistics, Will Trans, you guys, uh, if someone knows, you know, if you've gotten notification from fleet manager or someone, let me know. Uh, you can text me down below. I would love to know what you guys are hearing. Uh, but I don't, I have no idea. All I know is what you guys know. And that is that Ashley Furniture has uh, inked the deal to buy out uh, Wilson Logistics. And I believe that's going to be finalized at the end of this year. Now, as far as Prime, again, I don't really know the specific of the details. Um, if that takes all 800 of those tractors out of our capacity, uh, I would imagine Prime's going to feel that. Uh, I would imagine our customers are going to feel that. That's a big chunk of capacity. Um, and they run, they run the same freight that we run, you know, they pull our trailers and they're picking up at places that we're picking up and they're shipping to places that we're shipping so you know I, I I can only assume and maybe I'm assuming incorrectly that uh, that does cause some headache for prime I think that's fair to say uh, because we can't we can't get new trucks we got drivers we got drivers flooding into prime right now I mean flooding in we have more drivers coming in than I think I've ever seen, ever, uh, through our training program and stuff. But oh, there's no trucks to put them in. All the manufacturers are saying you're only getting 70% of the trucks that you ordered last year. So, uh, so we basically, well, I tell you what this might mean is that we're not going to have any problem finding an empty trailer. <laughs> I guess that would be the glass half full. <laughs> Sorry, Wilson, Wilson guys. I'm not trying to make a joke out of the situation. I don't know what it means for you guys. And there's probably going to be a lot of them jump ship to Prime. I would imagine. <laughs> so if you're at Will Trans or Wilson Logistics and you want to continue hauling refrigerated fleet uh, freight and doing what you do. My driver code is down in the description below. Come on over to Prime. Uh, but, yeah, so that's, anyway, that's all I know, guys. I know what, what is out there in the news. Um, it is true that, uh, Ash, I guess, I guess Wilson Logistics trucks, trackers are going to be pulling Ashley Furniture. Weird, man. That's a bizarre change. Anyway, I gotta go. I just got my clock back. I gotta go get this trailer and get on up the road. I got about two and a half hours to go to get Dave. I gotta get some fuel on the way up there. This load is probably gonna be heavy as hell, so it probably won't be that much fuel. Uh, but I gotta get rolling, so. You guys be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.